Hi boys and girls, welcome back to our bell work time. So today we are on unit three, week one, day two. You should have completed this yesterday and are just checking your answers today. So beginning at the top, you have your seaweeds paragraph and it asks to what length can seaweeds grow? So how long can seaweed grow? Today, you're going to turn in your answer to this question. So you are going to submit how long can seaweeds grow in a complete sentence. Go back into your text evidence and find your answer. It says exactly how long they can grow. Let's do our lowercase p's. So to make a lowercase p, you're going to start like an I. You're going to come up and stop. Then you're going to come down below the water, back up, make your belly, and kick out. So up, down, up, belly, out. Up, down, up, P, out. I know there is a loop on our page. You do not need to do the loop, okay? Let's just go up, down, up to make a belly, and loop out. Finish your P's and then come back for our editing. All right, so for our editing, we have Victor walked home by his self in the pouring rain. As you know, we start our sentences with a capital and it is a proper noun. So Victor needs to be capitalized regardless. Walked home by not his self. That's not the correct pronoun. Instead, we would say himself himself. Pouring is not a bossy E word. It's a two vowel go walking word. So it's P-O-U-R-I-N-G and then a period at the end. So let's write our sentence nicely using our sentence structure, spaces between our words, putting capitals and big letters at the top, small letters starting in the middle. I'm going to run out of room here. Let's see if I can fit at least pouring. And then I'll put rain below it. And that's okay in this one. All right, let's go to our word problems. There are 39 pencils in the drawer. Sam took 16 pencils from the drawer. How many pencils are now in the drawer? So there were 39, and if Sam took 16, he subtracted them. And we want to know what's left or now in there. So 9 minus 6 is 3. 3 minus 1 or 30 minus 10 is 20. So there are 23 pencils left in the drawer now. All right, today we are doing another bar graph, but this is a horizontal bar graph because we are looking, or I'm sorry, a vertical bar graph because the bars are going vertically. Remember, vertically is up and down. So our title is Favorite Colors. I see that they have asked one, two, three, four, five, six students, and the color choices were green, yellow, red, orange, blue, and purple. The question that we have to answer is how many students, so that means I'm going to pull my number from here, chose blue and purple, and means to add. So I'm going to go to blue and go over. Blue has five. Purple has three. So I'm going to add five plus three and get eight Students, don't forget to label students. All right, so today you're going to turn in your answer and then you need to complete day three and come back tomorrow to check your answers.